Hello! In this video, I will show you how to convert an integer array to a byte array, meaning that each integer will represent a byte, okay? So it's not converting an integer with a binary format. You can watch that video as well. It's a sort of a different thing. It basically converts any type, any object into a byte array. But this is different. This is just taking each integer and uh, representing it in a byte or as a byte rather. So this may not seem very useful, but this was uh, quite useful if you wanted to deal with files in Blazor. Uh, I would say back in the day, but it was uh, only up until recently when we finally got a real file picker in Blazor. You can watch that video as well on the a new modern file picker and how to actually use it. It's quite simple and it's uh, uh, definitely a good thing. But this was used uh, to pick files. Basically what would happen, you would get uh, a uh, array, an integer array from the JavaScript and then you had to convert it to a byte array. Uh, so due to that, I in fact uh, named it like this. Now, obviously, I do believe there might be other use cases for this, but uh, uh, this is where I actually used it. Okay, so that's why it says bytes from JS. And you can actually watch my old video on uh, how this was implemented in Blazor. But basically, we have uh, a sample uh, integer, okay, integer array, and then we have our integers. And then we use this little piece of code to actually convert the integer array to a byte array. Now, this uses uh, system link, okay? So it uses link, and basically it goes through each and every integer into the array, and then it will cast it to a byte, okay? And then it will basically create a new array, a new array of type byte array, okay? so. It goes through each and every integer and then it converts it sort of, uh, uh, it will cast it like that uh, and you get your byte array. Quite a useful thing, but again, you have your integer and then you use select, okay? Select like this. This is the main action, okay? So this is integer, initially it's integer, you can see it right here. It's integer, but it turns it into a byte array because essentially a byte is an integer. It's just a different type. Now then, I launched the program and we have a little breakpoint right here. So let's see. We have buffer. Okay, buffer. We go into that and we see the first element in the array is 11 and it matches 11 integer. Now, the second one, if we go into that, 12 and then 48. And then 211 and 3. You can see everything matches quite well. So again, it basically just goes through each integer, then sort of converts it to a byte type, and then it adds to the byte array. So that's all there is to it. It's quite simple. And again, it may be useful. It may not be useful. But if you really need it, uh, uh, this will probably save you a lot of time. Now, with that said, uh, we will be concluding with this video and do subscribe to this channel. Also, support the channel on Patreon. Uh, take a look. There will be some great offers for my courses, so you'll get some things for free and it will be a great deal for you. And with that said, we will conclude this video.